Hi, this is Nate Store here with Bright Agritech, and today I'm going to tell you why using plugs is a good idea. A lot of folks, when they're just looking at getting started with an aquaponic system or with vertical towers, ask about direct seeding. Well, you can always direct seed, and that's fine and dandy. It's not always the best use of space. So, if you do seed um, directly to your bed or to your tower, oftentimes uh, you're you're wasting the space in that bed or in that tower while that seedling, uh, while that seed germinates and that seedling grows. So the reason that uh, we like to put seedlings in is that it just ends up conserving a lot of space for us. We can grow seedlings in these really dense trays and then um, you know as soon as they're ready to transplant we just transplant them to the bed or to the um, tower and we're not wasting any space. We can transplant them right on the heels of the former crop and uh, we're not waiting for them to germinate. So we can uh, for like a 60 day lettuce or a 70 day lettuce they can do their first 35 days in a tray and then uh, they can just do their last you know 30 or uh, 35 in the towers themselves. So we use a few different types of trays here. Um, we've got a 338 here and uh, this just basically means there's uh, 338 cells in this one and this is a 200 so we've got 200 cells in this tray and uh, what we do is we just take these trays we fill them up either with vermicompost or with a potting mix. Vermicompost is a little richer. Uh, if you use a potting mix, then you might have to supplement some nutrition, either mix in some vermicompost or uh, fertilize your seedlings. But uh, you, you basically uh, mix that into these trays. And um, essentially, once you got the tray full, we just run through with our fingers and go pop, 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 pop. Now, the big guys uh, with big operations, they have machines that do all this work for them. Uh, big vacuum seeders and all that kind of thing. And actually building your own vacuum seeder isn't too hard. We just never uh, really uh, do enough seeding to make it worth it. So I've got two different types of seed here and um, we, we plant a lot of lettuce, a lot of greens and um, especially for crops like lettuce, crops like carrots, crops where the seeds are very tiny and very difficult to manage. Um, we do recommend using pelleted seeds. So on this one you see here it says lettuce pelleted um, and we do buy a lot of Harris seed. Um, this is what it looks like. They take basically take clay and they wrap it around that, um, they roll that uh, seed in that clay and you end up with this nice easy to handle large uh, ball of clay. And you just plant these and you get the singles every time, you don't end up doubling so you don't have to go back through and thin. Um, when you use just regular lettuce seed, oftentimes this was uh, one of the guys planting got a little bit sloppy and you can see here we've got a big mess when it comes to the lettuce we've got. So we're gonna have to go back through here and pull out a lot of different seedlings in every different cell. So what that means is we've just got a lot of waste there um, because the seed's so tiny. And to show you what that lettuce seed looks like here, I'm gonna pour some of this in my hand. So get rid of that pellet stuff. And uh, this is uh, just regular lettuce seed here. And you can see how tiny that is. It's really hard to, hard to mess with. Um, see, seeds like carrots and there are a few other crops that are similar you know it's just worth getting pelleted if you can find it you're gonna save uh, it's gonna cost you a little bit more but you're gonna save yourself a lot of time um, thinning and a lot of time messing around with itty bitty little seeds so once you got some divots poked in the tops of your cells with your fingers go ahead and drop a seed in each one and then we're just gonna cover it over lightly with um, potting mix. And for just about all the seeds we grow here, uh, there's all sorts of variable depths that you're supposed to plant seeds at. And it's worth reading the packaging to find out, but for the most part, we just plant everything at about a quarter inch, and it does just fine. So uh, once it's planted, we cover it over, we kind of uh, smooth off the top, we water it, and we just set it out here on our bench, and it just gets watered once a day, and um, or several times a day. Uh, Essentially, you know, just sits here until it, until it grows into a nice healthy seedling and then we transplant it. Save ourselves a lot of time, save ourselves a lot of money, and uh, we get the most use out of our grow beds, our towers, whatever we're using. So this is our vermicompost, and it's uh, pretty nutrient rich. Sometimes we use this for seeding. Um, we just don't produce enough of it these days to keep up with our uh, crops. So uh, this is still pretty coarse stuff, it needs to break down a little bit longer. But once it's broken down a little bit further, we can actually spread this in cut inside of seed trays and uh, plug trays and start to plant to it. This here is just our regular potting mix. And you can see it's just got a, basically, it's kind of a peat, perlite, and uh, uh, mostly peat, perlite, and some 
composted forest products. Uh, so that's just basically chipped and composted wood. But uh, it's pretty fine. And uh, for doing seedlings, you want pretty nice fine stuff. Um, stuff that doesn't hold too much water. It's not going to rot your seeds, but it's still pretty fine uh, textured stuff. There's a lot of contact um, with the, with the uh, mix itself once the seed's in there. Helps it germinate a little faster, helps it get cranking. So that's basically how we seed. I uh, hope that you consider it in the future. It will save you a lot of time and uh, probably save you some money if you're buying your, your plugs. So again, this is Nate Store with Bright Agritech. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you uh, enjoy these videos, if you find the content interesting and useful, please subscribe to our channel. And um, feel free to ask us questions. We're happy to answer those as best we can. So this is our greenhouse here. We just came in through the front door and this is kind of looking east, um, down the rows and columns of uh, towers here. So come on in and I'll explain how everything works. So now we're at the far end of the greenhouse and you can see uh, some of the new towers that have just gone in uh, this last week and uh, some of the stuff that went in the week before over here. And uh